everyone today we will see how to create a new environment in power platform and in that environment we will create a database and we will install the dynamics 365 customer engagement apps in that environment okay so let's start so first we have to go to the browser and we have to hit the address like admin.powerplatform.com after that uh, you can click on click on this environments option it will give you all your environments if there is any existing one available otherwise you can create a new one clicking this plus new button and you have to give a name of the environment here let's say development environment so i have given the name of the environment is development and uh, here the type of the environment you can choose whether it is a sandbox or it is a production or a trial or you can give it give as a trial subscription based right so click on this trial subscription based and the region select as a united states because some of the you know latest updates are rolled out to united states first then purpose uh, give the purpose of this environment this environment will required for for dev activities for example then you can just go down here you will find create a database for this environment it is already selected as us okay you can create a database and build apps by using common data service for apps as a data store right so this will create a common data service database in background so click on next so when you once you click next it will ask you what should be your url right for the organization now give your organization name here let's say uh, shop chief okay i'm giving my name of this url so this will be treated as a organization name then you have to select the currency so you can select usd metal stress dollar for now now here you can choose enable dynamics 365 apps this option will give you you know uh, the chance of installing all dynamics 365 apps in this environment that is going to create now once you click yes here you will go down to select automatically deploy these apps click on all enterprise applications okay now click on save okay as soon as you save uh, it will create your environment and uh, it will create the database in the background and a line item will environment line item will be added here in your list and the status is preferring instance okay now the alert is displaying that new environment development environment is getting preferred it can be used once active it will take some couple of uh, you know seconds or one to two minutes to uh, be ready to use so you just keep refreshing the uh, environments so you just shuffle it from one option to another to check the status is updated or not Okay, you keep refreshing the window it is still showing it's preferring instance right so it will given the creation of created on time and the region is united states and uh, the type is trial subscription based now again let me refresh it If you are not uh, do, going to refresh the whole browser screen you can just refresh this option here so that it will refresh your environments in a small window it will not refresh the whole uh, uh, browser okay now once you click refresh it will the status gets changed to ready now I can click on this environment and click on this open environment right once you click on open environment the URL will hit the like your environment dot 
crm your organization dot crm dot dynamics dot com right and it will display all the enterprise applications that are installed uh, because of our configuration we have selected at the time of environment creation okay so we have to wait for a couple of seconds it will load all the apps in the app dashboard So this is how we can uh, create multiple environments uh, in power in power platform admin center and uh, we can install the dynamics 365 enterprise applications in the same organization okay so it is trying to load yeah now the you know browser changes to microsoft dynamics 365 and it will display the uh, app dashboard for me with all applications installed so including sales hub customer service then every applications that are coming under the uh, interface applications will display here right you can see so these are the published apps that are uh, published in my organization that i have created called as subchip and this is the organization in the url so you can click any app to open that right you can click on sales hub for example so it will open the dynamics 365 sales hub application for us okay right now i can work on my entities and you know other things that i want to work on okay so thank you so um, if it helped you please subscribe the channel and also give some comments uh, if any video specific required for any module thank you